Hey everybody, it's Greg from Guardian RFID. You know, recently we've had some unfortunate situations that have happened in jails around the country. We like to refer to those as the oh shit moment. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, we've had death in custodies or other traumatic events that happen inside a facility and staff seem untrained or unprepared for what to do in the eventuality of one of those situations. So I thought I would briefly go over kind of a five point plan of what you should do to be prepared. And you've got to train for these events. So you've got to go over these with your staff and make sure they all know. The first thing you want to do is as soon as it happens, one of the things, and this is not necessarily in an order, but these are the things that have to happen, is you want to pull the video. Immediately find somebody who can pull the video of the situation of all the important cameras, of all the angles, of anything that happened, so you have that video pulled aside. And you get that set and burned as quickly as possible. Number two, start an official incident report in your sheriff's office or in your prison's system. Start that official incident report immediately so you can get appropriate times, names, names, dates, everybody that's involved, anybody that's involved, get their information as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. You know, recently somebody said to me the three biggest words in real estate are location, location, location. Well, the three biggest words in corrections are documentation, documentation, documentation. I stole that from somebody. Thanks, Janan. So basically, we want to make sure we document everything. So get that official incident report it started as soon as possible. One of the ways to do that is the next thing I'm going to say is get an official recorder. Now, years ago, we started doing these NIMS trainings. You all remember 100, 200, 300, 700, 800. One of the things they had us do in, in those critical incident reports was start and get an official recorder, somebody who writes everything down. Find somebody who will record everything that happens. You can't be, as a supervisor, responsible for everything. Get somebody who has the ability to write all that down so we don't miss something. All those little details, those comments, those things that happen, those questions that pop up, get somebody to record everything. Also, we want to make sure that if, unfortunately, if, the, if there is a death in custody, we want to move that inmate out of that living unit or out of that cell in your jail management system. Don't release them. Now, obviously, we don't want them on your headcount, but at this point, we don't want to release them. We want to simply out of cell them to, say, booking or holding or some other location, not their living unit because they're not in there anymore, so the headcount has changed, and we want to ensure that that appropriate move has taken place so that as we continue to do rounds, because we have to continue to run the rest of the jail, that inmate name and that person is not going to show up in rounds as we move forward. Because the one, the one thing we don't want is 45 minutes later when the, somebody comes around to do a round again, that inmate's name appears on a log as everything is okay. So get that person moved in your jail management system, like I said, to a holding cell, a booking cell, regardless of where that person goes. Just don't release them at this point because obviously we don't want to release them until next of kin has been notified and we're prepared. Maybe your facility's uh, PIO has been informed so you can determine how you're going to notify the press. Those questions have to be answered as well. Uh, one of the other things we want to do is check your logs. So go back and pull the logs immediately that have been done pre previous to that to find out what the last log was done. One of the things we do in corrections is as we teach people to do rounds, especially if you're using an electronic monitoring system like Guardian RFID, is we tell people to look, then scan the tag. Look, then scan whatever the, uh, the the system is. So we don't want to be we don't want to be scanning then looking because what if we come across a situation where we've scanned and then we look and we notice that there's a bad situation. So we want to look, then scan, so we're making sure we log the appropriate thing. Because if something's gone wrong, we want to log what we've seen. Now, if for some reason we happen to scan and then look, and we notice we've had that OS moment, we want to be able to go back in and log what we did see, because we are going to make mistakes. So we check that log, like I said, so that we make sure everything we logged was correct. And if we find a discrepancy, if we find we did log that the person was okay when in actuality they weren't, make an addendum, make an additional log as quickly as possible to know what was done, how it was resolved, and what the situation was. So get an official log pulled, uh, official incident report, excuse me, get an official incident report started, get a recorder, pull your video, make sure you move them in the JMS, and check your logs to make sure you haven't recorded anything inappropriate or anything that was incorrect and get that fixed as soon as possible. We all know we don't want that OS moment to happen, but they do. So the best way for us to prepare for those is to train for them. We've got to train like we fight. We can't just tell people what to do. Practice this a couple times. Go over the steps with your staff. Make sure they're prepared so that we're not caught off guard because we all want to be able to leave the jail and know it's still running. But the only way to do that is to train people to be prepared. 
Well, if you have any comments or additions to this, if you have some things you want to add to our list, by all means, comment below. Let us know. We're always willing to bring in information because there's some great minds out, the correctional minds out there. So please add, comment, whatever you need to do. Uh, you can always reach out to us at support at guardianrfid.com. Uh, call us, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, however you need. We want to make sure that we're meeting the needs of the correctional community. And as always, get your team home safe.